And early this morning, people in Reading gathered around a landmark American flag to honor first responders and victims of 9-11. Action News Now reporter Ryan Caney was at the event and shows how those victims were commemorated. As the sun rose over Reading, so too did the American flag. The iconic flag can be seen on I-5. Today, it was the site of the 2021 Patriots Day Sunrise Ceremony. People from all around the area came here early in the morning to honor the victims of 9-11 and reflect on the aftermath. We remember the shock, the surprise, the pain, the grief, but then we remember how America came together. And so we want to celebrate that part of it as well as we come together this morning. The Enterprise High School Band and the CDF Firefighters Pipes and Drum Band help welcome in the ceremony. For veterans like David Thompson, it's a welcome sight to see new faces at the event, especially those too young to remember 9-11. It's just amazing to see how many young people are here. They're in the school band and so on. A lot of them probably don't remember the 911 event, so it's good to have them here. I think 9-11 is, is an especially important day for firefighters. Um, it just really helps firefighters to remember um, the, the risks involved with being a firefighter, but also the sense of duty uh, that's important to have in order to be successful as a firefighter. Nineteen years ago, on the first anniversary of 9-11, Cynthia and Victor O'Gray put up the flag we see today. After years of struggling to keep the flag flying, the O'Grays are beyond thankful for how this event has grown. This, is, this has been a, a real pleasure. This whole project, start to finish, was just a real, real challenge and sometimes a great challenge. It's, it's amazing that how the public uh, came out to support us. Now, after almost two decades of seeing their hard work wave in the wind, the O'Grays will be moving away from their beloved flag in a bittersweet moment. I know it's in good hands, <laughs> but it's, it's going to be hard not seeing it on the freeway. And this event was set up by the Enterprise Lions Club with help from the Reading Fire Department.